Okay, so here we've got a Mercedes E350 2014 W12 facelift model with the NTG 4.7 stereo. And if you know, and if you've got one of these, you'll realize that the audio system, although the sound quality is really good, all the factory stuff is just a bit average and a bit clunky, not very easy to use, uh, especially the sat nav. Even though it does full postcode, it's a bit painful. So we're going to fit Apple CarPlay. So we've done what we needed to do on this uh, E350 uh, 2014 model W212 facelift. Stick the keys in. Now this, what we've done to this vehicle is we've done wireless Apple CarPlay. So customer can just get in, chuck their phone wherever they're gonna put it and it'll work. So let's just show you how it all works. So you get in, start the car up, bang. Straight into Apple CarPlay, nothing plugged in, no wires. Straight in. Yeah, so we've got Apple CarPlay, still use the rotary knob, all to control it all. Phone calls, keypad, everything, all Apple CarPlay, all on the screen. Go back to the main bit, so that's what everyone would be used to seeing. You just twist the knob, left or right, up or down, to go through everything, yeah? So now, instead of having Mercedes sat-nav, you can use Waze sat-nav, or you can use Google Maps, Apple Maps, whatever your preference is. Music, go into Spotify. Pick whatever you want. So you can jump straight back to standard just by holding down the back button. And if you hold it down again, it'll change back to Apple CarPlay. And if we do it again, back to factory. You can easily jump between the two, yeah? Also works with the factory reverse camera that's fitted to this vehicle. Put it in reverse. And you've got the factory reverse camera coming up. Do a bit of a clean. Yeah. Now, so switch back. Just easy to jump between the two. So that's factory. Jump back. It's Apple CarPlay. Okay, hope you like what we do.